Youth runner here with Addy Ritzenhain, uh, winner once again, back-to-back uh, -back championships. Uh, hasn't happened since Katie Rainsberger, who is obviously very much part of the fabric and the connection of your career and then the NIWAT program once upon a time, even though she did it for Air Academy. Uh, so obviously that's a great, you know, uh, linked uh, from the past to the present of, of your career and obviously her career as well. Uh, but just to be able to have that group up front, right? I mean, you're only going to be the best version of Addie Ritzenheim, but obviously to see Gianna again, Peyton is obviously, you know, at an incredible level right now. Uh, you know, Julie Moore coming from Utah is always great. You know, Emily's been uh, been super consistent and whatnot. Like, just how good was it uh, for you? Because I mean, obviously, I know you know Delaney is obviously you know on fire as well. But just to have that depth of of, of the group, you know, how, how how much fun was that? Just to kind of be reminded of what that's like and what it's going to be like on November 2nd and November 23rd and December 7th. Yeah, we're in such a deep um, time right now. Like such a, it's just like a unique time of such deep um, female runners. And I think it's such, such a special thing. Um, we're all, we all want what's best for each other. We all, we all know each other. We're very friendly with each other. Um, I think it's, it's a special thing to be able to go out and race with these people. They push you to be the best version of yourself. And um, I think it's going to, it's going to be very beneficial on state and NXR and NXN. It'll just make it even more interesting um, to watch as a race and to be in the race as well. Um, these girls are so strong and um, we're all just, we're, we just work so hard. So it's so incredible to see all of us together. New personal best at, at Lions, but uh, the way the last mile went and obviously what you shared, you know, with the people in the medical tent the, uh, there, I, was, was there any any concern about any residual effects or was that just kind of like hey it's a, it's a one off i'm i'm glad i was able to come through it you know like you know like not you know not any of the worse for wear i i mean but did it do anything mentally or psychologically coming um, into the training or the, or this race yeah i think that race was such a learning experience for me um i took out the first mile hard i kind of wanted to practice taking out the race hard for um, what nxr and nxn would be like and even state too um, so I took out the first mile pretty decently hard and I wasn't feeling the best um, that day. I was a little run down. So um, I think just a lot of things added up to it. Um, but at the end of the day, I was like, I need to finish this for my team. I need to do this for my team, no matter what that takes. So I gave it my all. I, the last mile was definitely rough. It was mentally hard. Um, but I think it prepared me for this race. It definitely, um, I had some like cautions in this race. I didn't want to take out the race too hard, just because like I was thinking about that last race. So I think it'll be like a mental switch for me now. But um, I think it'll help me even more, um, and it helped me uh, just kind of show me where I'm at um, and how I can push myself to the to the limits. Absolutely. Last thing uh, in terms of this group understanding its limits. You're a very intelligent woman. You are such a great teammate and such an amazing friend. Just. For this group to be able to respond the way they did right you know how fickle people are with analytics and what have you done for me lately and everybody's a prisoner of one race you know uh but just the way that the, uh, the group said look we can't go back and rerun that race against fossil ridge but we can run this race against you know a lot of other uh, great teams or whatever just how proud are you of the, of the fact that like you know everybody stayed you know trusting everybody you know, be you know believed uh, in, in each other obviously when you have more women available that certainly always helps but just you know th the way the group responded because let's you know let's be very truthful here Addy you haven't experienced a, a lot of Niwot not being in, uh, in first place you know and, and you're regardless of where you finished the team has always you know uh, uh, been you know um, uh, among uh, the best of the best not just in Colorado but the United States so to see them come back you know with such purpose and such intent tonight like uh, how, how good does that make you feel? It makes me so incredibly proud. Just having those girls out there, I know I can count on them. When I'm in the race too, I I do it for my team. I know they, they do it for each other too. It's such a special connection that we have. Um, I think we all just share this joy for running and we all support each other no matter what. I'm just so incredibly proud of them. I know they push each other to the, like, to the limits and um, just having them out there, like like what Elise said, like we can't re rerun that race against Fossil Ridge, but I think that's just helped us grow as a team because we can't always win. You have to take your losses, and I think that's how you grow as a runner and as a team. So I think that's that was a very important race for us, and this is even more important for us. Um, and I think we just have to keep looking forward and 
um, focus on NXR, NXN, and state. And um, I can't wait to see what um, they do my senior year as well. I know we're just going to be such a strong and powerful team. Awesome. Uh, they will get other opportunities uh, to be able to race not just against Fossil Ridge, Mountain Vista Air Academy, Chaparral, the whole group, November 2nd, November 23rd. Uh, and, uh, it's always good uh, when you've got one of the best uh, women, not just now, but ever in the United, in Colorado in the United States, Natty Ritz 9, 16-41-3, lowering her own all-time record uh, here at Toka Sticks. Uh, Addie, congratulations. Thank you so much.